What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm showing you five winter trends to wear right now. First up, trend number one, white pants. Now, looking through the London and Pitti street style photos, I saw a lot of guys wearing white trousers or white jeans like I'm wearing here. White pants are typically seen as more of a summer thing, which I think makes them even more unexpected and impactful when worn in the winter time. White pants are a blank slate, which means that pretty much anything goes in terms of the rest of your outfit. With this look, I kept it kind of preppy and sporty with a classic navy pea coat, denim button-up shirt, and navy silk knit tie. Now, because it is colder out, I layered in a cardigan, which also gives a little bit of a color contrast. The scarf is by Drake's, more to add in some pattern than to actually stay warm. Watch is the Cartier Tank American, and suede tassel loafers are by Morhas. Trend number two is all about doing more with less. Dressing tonally means that you are building an outfit around a single color, and it's really amazing how much of a statement you can make with this kind of simplicity. When you're building a look like this, you want to choose colors in the same family, but not the exact same colors. You can see here that the browns in the jacket, turtleneck, pants, pocket square, and shoes are all different. Now, another trick to dressing like this is to add in some pattern. My blazer has a very small houndstooth or puppy tooth pattern, which helps to add some interest and break up the monotony of the single color look. One place I did not use brown is on my wrist. This is the Alanga and Zona Datagraph. Well, from doing more with less to doing more with more, trend number three is the statement coat. I think it's always good to have in your outerwear collection one big, bold statement piece. This coat with the big houndstooth pattern is by Michael Andrews Bespoke. It also has a raglan sleeve, which is another thing that I saw a lot of in many of the street style photos. Best way to style a statement piece is to keep the rest of your outfit simple. My blazer by Jake Muser and pants by Michael Andrews Bespoke are both flannel and in solid colors. I did throw in a little pattern with a stripe of my shirt and very subtle check pattern in the tie. Watches again, the Tank American, and leather tassel loafers are by Johnston and Murphy. Trend number four, wearing a turtleneck underneath a button-up shirt. For me, this style is very reminiscent of a look with an ascot. It has that same sort of elegance and poise to it. However, I will say that this look does come with a high degree of difficulty. You've kind of got to get it just right to pull it off. First, because it does remind me of an ascot, it makes me think ultra classic. Charcoal flannel pants, white OCBD, and a little bit of sartorial flair with this gun check blazer. Unbuttoning the shirt. Now, you could do this a couple different ways, but I prefer to have a few buttons unbuttoned. I think it lends itself well to making it feel a little more casual and less stuffy. One final thing I think is important is to have some pattern. Obviously, I have the check of the blazer, and then the subtle herringbone of my coat, which is by Ring Jacket. Finally, trend number five, wearing a button-up shirt underneath a turtleneck. This is not something that I saw a lot of, but I did spot it on a friend of mine, Matt Hranick, who is the men's style editor at CN Traveler. It's a very subtle flourish, and it's also something that I think is pretty unexpected. It's also kind of practical, because it does uh, really give you a nice extra layer of warmth around the neck. Now, speaking of warmth, the suede shearling trucker jacket by Valstar is also extremely warm. And keeping with the kind of rugged urban explorer theme here, I have on some classic Levi's 511s, my Rolex GMT Master on the wrist, and finished off with these great oxblood boots by Bostonian. All right, there you have it, five winter trends that I am personally feeling this season. You know, trends play a very, very, very small role uh, in the vocabulary of my personal style, but every so often I find some that speak to me and that I feel comfortable wearing. Leave your comments below. Let me know which look you like best. Thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.